Taurus. Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. And this is a week ahead reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Taurus placement. Please keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every single Taurus. And for a week ahead, so it's a prediction, so you don't know yet. Yeah. So the first message we have here is we have a huge issue. Hmm. Honestly, the energy coming through with this card feels like it's coming from a higher power. So this is definitely a connection that's under divine timing right now. And something about the energy of this connection feels really, really cold. But what's being highlighted here is the way that you're navigating this distance, okay? And it's pointing to both of you in this connection. So while you are away from one another, something has definitely shifted. And this is pertaining to how you see each other, but also how you view this connection in general. And the way the energy is coming through, it's almost as if a higher power is analyzing how the both of you are currently navigating. And there is, there's something wrong here. It doesn't feel like anything negative, but it does feel inaccurate, okay? So I'm getting clearly that however you are currently viewing your person, and however they are viewing you is totally wrong or very, very far from what's actually happening. But you both have no way to know this because there is no contact, okay? And this is creating a huge issue. And because a higher power is coming through, this does feel almost as if it's something that you both are supposed to be doing during this time apart. Almost as if you both have very specific guidelines on how to navigate this separation or this no contact period. But this sudden shift in how you're viewing one another is altering something, okay? Or it's kind of changing the course of your connection or it could be even creating a barrier of some sort. And you both are not, not aware of this at all, okay? So although this is coming through as something mental, it's actively manifesting and becoming a reality. So much so that the both of you are believing this to be true when in fact it's not, okay? Wow. I'm also getting that this is a connection where both of you are very, very tapped in. So it's kind of unusual for you to be in this energy. This is a connection where you've always received very clear and concise signs about one another. So whatever has taken place in your connection right now may be very confusing from a higher perspective. Honestly, this energy that's coming through, it does feel like some type of warning sign or some kind of urgent message here. So for some reason, something feels extremely out of alignment. So there may be a vast difference in your actions versus what's inside of your heart space at this time, okay? And it's being highlighted by a higher power as a means to kind of bring everything back into alignment. But one thing that's very clear is that this connection is under divine guidance right now. And from a higher perspective, even though you both are at a distance, there's something taking place right now that may be counterproductive to your connection in a major way, okay? Wow. Let's get the next message here. Okay, so the next message we have here is massive realization. Okay. Hmm. Something is about to take place in this connection. Okay, something big, something powerful, and also unexpected. And this is going to happen in a way where the both of you will not be able to question. Because I'm getting there's a heavy energy of doubt here. And this energy is affecting you both in ways that you may not be able to see. And it's also altering the state of your connection because I keep getting wrong, okay? It's almost like I'm seeing the word in bold letters, all caps. And I'm getting that you both are internally asking a lot of questions because the way that things are currently appearing in the 3D is confusing the both of you. So much so that maybe you're asking for something to be revealed about one another. And whether you know it or not, you are about to get exactly what you asked for, okay? But this is going to happen in such a way that you would never expect. 
but I'm getting that it has to happen in this way because if not, you both will still have major doubts about one another. So this is necessary. And this is gonna be pure divine intervention. Something that you both wouldn't physically be able to do, okay? A very rare occurrence that kind of fills in the blank space and leaves no room for uncertainty, okay? Divine Feminine, um, for some of you, you've already received some sort of insight when it comes to you, when it comes to this, okay? Some form of 5D confirmation, but I'm also getting that it's still kind of murky. You don't have all of the details. So maybe you're concerned about the timing, but it's coming through very clearly that you not knowing everything is also very significant to this going according to the timeline of your connection, okay? So everything is as it should be. But what's interesting is that the both of you feel like it's not, okay? There's a lot of doubts, there's a lot of questions, mainly concerning the timing or how both of you are kind of allocating your time while at a distance, okay? Let's get the next message here. So the next message we have is, this is my biggest secret. Yeah, okay. So if your masculine were to be 100% honest with you, Divine Feminine, they would tell you that they're not over you, okay? They never have been, despite how things are appearing right now. And I'm getting that this connection is currently surrounded by illusion of some sort, where things are not really as they seem. And although they're at a distance right now, they can't help but feel like something is wrong. And they know this for a fact because they've been pretending, okay? I'm getting heavy energy of a masculine who may be pretending to be happy, um, pretending to be content, but their soul is currently repelling a lot of things in their lives right now. And what's interesting about their energy is that they actually want you to know this. Um, they feel like this is something that you really, really need to know or you really need to, to have a deeper understanding of when it comes to their personal journey. But for some reason, they feel like they can't really get through to you because of how it looks, okay? This is someone also I'm getting that knows that you are very, very smart. Not only that, you read their energy very well. So you've already read into them. And it's like you know what they'll do or they'll say um, before they even make a move. And you know that they may be pretending or that they're not living up to their full potential. But what's interesting, Divine Feminine, is that instead of you feeling vindicated in knowing this in some way, you actually feel a little bit disappointed, okay? The way the energy is coming through is, is that you feel as if your person is kind of slowly morphing into someone else. For some of you, they even feel like a total stranger and that they're actually comfortable playing a certain role here, that they're actually becoming a person that's totally unrecognizable to you. And Divine Feminine, I'm getting that your feelings are valid based upon what it is that you see because of the energy that you're picking up from your person. It's so different right now from who they were when you met them, from the person that you actually fell in love with, okay? So if they were to be 100% honest with you, this entire connection has been very complicated for them. This is someone who fell in love with you very quickly, okay? And this love kind of took them to a totally different timeline one that felt really exclusive to them, one that felt very private and very personal. They felt as if they could kind of shut off the outside world and just exist in this time and this space with you. But then there came a time when they had to come back to reality. And this is where the problems slowly begin to arise. I'm also getting that this is someone who is quick to tell you how they feel, but they're slow to take action. And you wonder why. Okay, this is something that has been playing on your mind for a while, Divine Feminine. It makes you question yourself. It makes you also question your intuition. 
And at this current time, it's making you want to completely move on or to kind of pull back your energy in an effort to create some distance here, okay? And you wonder how this will affect your person. You wonder if this will make their hearts grow fonder or if it will allow them the time and the space to truly see your connection from a different angle. And I'm getting that this is working, if, if this is the energy that you're currently in. But where your person is right now, they're holding on to this major secret about you and your connection. And it's coming through as a secret because although you may know this, they're not coming out and telling you this up front. So they definitely may be sending hints your way um, or I'm getting subliminal message, su subliminal messages or like very coded language that only the both of you would kind of understand. It's like um, I'm seeing the connection from a higher perspective where this masculine is totally affected by this connection with you, but not fully understanding how it is affecting them in real time. I'm also getting something here about steps. So this masculine may be trying to skip steps as it pertains to you. This is someone who just, honestly, their energy is coming through very intense. This is someone who just wants to be with you, okay? So the way their energy is coming through, they'll say anything, they'll do anything just to have you. But where you are right now, you may not be on the same page. You've absolutely set a standard. And I'm getting that while you are at a distance, you send them love, you send them light and healing energy on a regular basis, but you're also able to detach, okay? And some of you may even be connected to other masculine energy I'm getting, and this masculine can feel it. So they go from this energy of feeling as if they understand, you know, where you are and, and your stance on everything to totally feeling just pissed off about the possibility of kind of losing you to someone else, okay? So there is, there's a lot that's happening behind the scenes here. Um, and I feel like the way the energy is coming through, there's definitely a higher power over this connection where you both desire some type of deeper insight about what's happening here. And I feel like this is your person's higher self coming through. Definitely want to confirm a lot of things for you. A lot of the questions that have been, you know, in your mind about them at this time, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. The next message we have is, let's pretend this never happened. Wow. Okay. Um, this masculine is feeling such a range of emotions right now. Okay. Um, and their energy is coming through very, very intense with, within this reading here. Um, but if you're resonating with this message so far, your masculine feels like it's much easier for them to ignore you or what transpired in your connection, okay? So if you're wondering how they're able to have the same experience as you but kind of process it differently, this is how. This is definitely giving you their POV on, on the entire connection, especially where you are right now in your journey or what maybe even led up to you being no contact, okay? This masculine energy has the ability to compartmentalize their emotions. This is someone who has even tried to trick themselves out of loving you. And as silly as that sounds, they really thought that this would work. I'm even getting that they tried to replace you, but they quickly learned that your energy cannot be duplicated, Divine Feminine. And this is being highlighted because this is something that you need to know, like on a soul level. There's a higher power watching over the both of you. And you're making decisions that are heavily based on this connection, even if this is on an unconscious level. Because this connection has changed both of you in a major way. And deep down, there's a lot of regret about lost time. And so the way this current separation is being navigated kind of needs to be reevaluated from a higher perspective, okay? So this masculine is coming into the awareness that no matter how much they try to reduce this connection to something that never happened or something that didn't pull on them emotionally in the way that it did, the truth is that they wouldn't be trying so hard to change the facts 
if you didn't really impact them in such a powerful way, okay? Um, the feminine energy that I'm tapping into, you may be very sought after, or this masculine may think that you are completely over them, but I'm getting that you know a little bit more about how this dynamic works. And I'm getting clearly also that this is a connection that is coming back around, okay? The universe is definitely orchestrating something or some type of faded meeting that will most likely catch both of you off guard. And you won't only be shocked by seeing one another again, okay? I'm getting you'll be shocked at how quickly everything you try to kind of erase comes back to the surface. Um, and so the way the energy is coming through, you both may be fed up with the current state of your connection that you're currently living and navigating as if this entire thing didn't happen. And Divine Feminine, this masculine would not be able to handle being in your presence, okay? While acting casual, even if they don't hold up this, this demeanor, okay? Even if they try to hold up this demeanor, I'm getting it won't last long. Um, because you see right through them. But I'm getting they see right through you as well. And so I feel like this is maybe a message from a higher power kind of warning you that while the both of you are choosing to diminish this powerful connection, something unexpected may be coming up. And the both of you are going to have an adverse reaction to one another and it's going to be that much more intense because this masculine has been sort of over exerting energy, trying to pretend that their feelings have somehow diminished or that they're unaware of the effect you have on them, okay? And I feel like this is definitely about to be put to the test. So, <laughs> yeah, this is why your person's energy is coming through extremely intense. For some of you, you could have detached from this masculine for a while, but recently you've been having like very, very heavy thoughts of them, um, something you could feel their energy around you. This is definitely why, okay? The way that you both are perceiving this connection is something is wrong. Something is out of alignment here. Um, maybe you're thinking that you came into no contact because of how your person was feeling, but the truth is that they've been kind of holding back how they feel, really. And because you are thinking about one another heavily, something is being orchestrated. Your thoughts, whatever is happening in the, in the 5D, is definitely about to materialize. So I'm getting clearly that this is a connection that is coming back around, okay? So if you thought that this was something that you totally detached from, um, maybe your person even thought that as well. They've been trying to pretend that this didn't happen. Um, they've been trying to reduce it um, to something that it wasn't. This is about to be put to the test in a major way, okay? Let's get the next message here. Okay. So the next message we have is, I'm worried about you. Yeah. So you may not be aware of this, but the both of you are energetically contributing to this uncertainty, okay? But because you're doing this from a place of worrying, and because this connection is so sacred, it's currently under divine guidance. And I feel like this is giving you a closer look at how energy works. Whatever is occupying your thoughts is what shows up into your reality. And so because your masculine has been pretending or even trying to diminish their very real feelings, and because this is making you question your connection, and also because you both share a chakra system, it's not only affecting you emotionally, but it's also affecting your reality. It has you thinking about your next move. Okay, so this is confirmation that they are worried about you and they actually have never stopped being worried about you. But recently your masculine has been thinking in such a way that the energy may be stuck or it's actually causing more delays or misunderstandings because of where the energy is coming from, which is from the lower chakras. Okay, and I'm getting very clearly that this is the reason a higher power is over your connection right now because you both have sought out divine guidance about this or from this place. And you both are currently being healed from this at this time. 
So if you feel like you don't know what, what happens next or which way to go, your person has these same thoughts, which is causing them to be amplified, okay? This is sending a very powerful signal out into the universe anytime you and your masculine are on the same vibration, okay? Whether this is a higher octave or lower, okay? Um, and this also plays into them wanting to act as if they're not having these thoughts, but it's keeping the energy stuck. Um, tapping into a connection with heavy stop and go energy, where you both have kind of opted out of this, but you never fully let go. So this is definitely sending a very powerful, but also maybe sending a very confusing signal out to the universe, and this is about to be corrected. Um, in such a way where it's not only going to clear the energy field, but it's also going to give you both massive clarity on some things that you really have been questioning about one another, okay? So I, I just keep getting something about blank space. So there's definitely a lot of blank space, a lot of blank space. There's definitely a lot of, um, of unanswered questions. There's definitely a lot of conversations or things that have gone unsaid. And because of this, you both have kind of created this image of one another, or you both are kind of, you know, trying to fill the space according to what it is that your person is showing you, which may not be accurate, okay? So this is about to be corrected. Let's get the last message here. Okay, so the last message is, I'm in love with you. Wow. So not only is this confirmation, this is also an affirmation. This is the energy of a masculine who's letting you know directly from their heart space that they're choosing to love at this stage of their journey, which from where they stand is an act of bravery. And not in the sense where they're unable to love, but this is your person recognizing that maybe their definition of love was tainted, okay? And maybe they weren't displaying love in a way that they really, really needed to receive it, and also in a way that you needed to receive it, um, Divine Feminine. This may even be the energy of a masculine who truly did not believe in love until they met you. So sure, they experienced relationships and they've shared space with other feminine energies, but to actually allow someone to see them, to allow someone in their heart space, and to also give you the opportunity to hurt them is something that was a deep, deep fear for them, and it's something that may be foreign. So this is the energy of a masculine who in the past would much rather pretend that they were not feeling how they were feeling about you than to actually sit with what their hearts were trying to tell them. And at this time, they're tired of pretending that they don't need access, a deeper access, to the most powerful vibration on the planet. And this is about you, Divine Feminine. It's like they're realizing that they need what you have to offer simply because you're the one who made them come to this realization in the first place. So even though you're at a distance, your person wants you to know that they are in love with you. And although it may be simple for you to say this and also display this, they maybe had a hard time in the past fully opening up to you, even though deep down this has been a real desire for them. So for as long as they can remember, okay? And I'm getting clearly that for some of you, you've been waiting to hear your person tell you exactly how they feel because you will always feel like there was something holding them back. Something that really had nothing to do with you either, but you still felt as if you got caught in the crossfire somehow. And because you are so intuitive, Divine Feminine, you've learned to hold space for the things that your masculine just couldn't say due to time, space, or even circumstance. And they acknowledge this about you, okay? And honestly, I feel like this masculine is really grateful that you have this bond because they feel like this could have easily been misread, okay, if you were not so connected, you know, through the heart space. So had they not been in a connection like this one, where you kind of have this deeper access to information about them, um, also getting that um, they really felt like there's something about you that 
they just cannot really put into words, okay? And I'm, cause I keep getting like difference. So your masculine maybe wants to point out that there's a difference between them loving someone and actually being in love. It's almost like they have you in a category of your own as it pertains to their heart space. And maybe that's hard for them to communicate. Maybe that was hard for them to communicate in the past. But where they are right now, because of where you are on your journey, this I feel like it's what the universe or a higher power was trying to get your person to realize, okay? And it's also about a level of information that they're willing to express when it comes to you, okay? So they're opening up their heart space. They're wanting to definitely communicate these thoughts that they're having in the 5D to really materialize them. So Divine Feminine, you can definitely expect the unexpected when it comes to your person. Um, because the energies, both of your energies right now are creating something very unexpected in the 3D at this time. And it's all divinely guided. So you have no worries, okay? This connection is sacred. And also the matters of your heart is very sacred as well. So the information that you are exchanging right now, um, I'm feeling that there's a lot that your person has been sending you telepathically. But I'm also getting you have no worries. So the timing will be perfect, the location, the energy, the chemistry. And I'm also getting for some of you, Divine Feminines, it will be exactly how you imagine, okay? But I'm getting very specific. So that's for a feminine energy who's been given a little insight, but not the full picture. And so whether you know it or not, you and your masculine are kind of being prepared for this while you are away from one another, okay? So there's definitely divine timing over your connection. However you both are feeling, I'm getting heavy, heavy emotion because this is a very sacred connection where you both are kind of questioning what's going on. You both are kind of questioning or maybe even viewing one another differently. I'm getting this heavy from the feminine energy where your person may even feel like a stranger to you right now and you've kind of created, you know, um, this, this image of them in your head that may be very different from what's happening and what's emanating in their heart space, okay? So there's a shift that's happening as it pertains to how you were navigating this distance. There's something very specific that you both were supposed to be doing or focusing on. This could have something to do with healing, um, maybe energy clearing here. And there's gonna be a refocus where the energy is gonna feel much lighter because something is being orchestrated, okay? And the way that you feel and what you know is gonna be put to the test in some way. And this is gonna to be totally unexpected. So you both are gonna have a much different reaction to one another than you have been assuming in the past or at this current time, okay? Okay, love, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the reading here. If you resonated with this message, please be sure to hit the like button on the way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.